Hi everyone. In this lesson I want to talk about some applications of linear uh, inequalities. And so our first example here is uh, about a truck rental. It says Metro Concerts can rent a truck for either $55 with unlimited mileage or $29 plus 40 cents per mile. And the question is for what mileages would the unlimited mileage plan save money? So right away I want to uh, I, I notice what's a variable in here is is the number of miles driven so I'm gonna right away start off and say let's let X equal the number of miles driven okay and what we know is there's there's two plans there's either the unlimited plan when it doesn't matter and the unlimited plan costs fifty five dollars okay and and then there is the uh, uh, we'll just call it the other plan and the other plan is twenty nine dollars so that would be just the cost to um, just to sit in the truck uh, but then in addition to that they will charge you forty cents for every mile so, so I'll get uh, 40 cents times X. Um, X is the number of miles, so if we went 100 miles, that would be another uh, $40 in addition to the $29. Okay, so, so it's either going to cost $55 or $29 plus 0.40X. And then the question is, for what mileages would the unlimited plan save money? So if I want the unlimited to save money, that means the unlimited would be less than the other plan. And notice what I did is I just wrote in words so I understood exactly what the problem asked for. I want the unlimited to save me money so the unlimited has to be smaller or less than the other plan. So I want to know where is the $55 that is how much the unlimited plan is going to cost me. Is that going to be where is that going to be less than the $29 plus the 0.40x. Okay, so I can solve that very quickly. I'll just go ahead and subtract 29 from both sides. So that's going to give me uh, what? Six, um, 26 dollars on this side, and that's going to be less than the 0.40x that we have on this side. We want to be more mathematically correct. I put it as 0 0.4, um, and then I'll just divide both sides by that by that coefficient. I'll divide both sides by 0.4, and I'm not dividing by a negative, so I don't have to reverse the the inequality. And so that's going to give me uh, whatever on this side right here. I'll get that my x value is. <clears throat> greater than whatever 26 over 0.4 is. So let's go ahead and do that on our calculator. 65. Okay, so again this is written in what I call Hebrew because your x is, uh, I have to read it from the right, x is greater than 65. So let's turn it around in English. X is greater than 65. So the question was for what mileages would the unlimited mileage plan save money? Well, if X is greater than 65, so if the miles driven exceed 65, then the unlimited plan will save money. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so so that's my that's my answer to that problem. All right, let's go on to one more problem here. This problem is about some insurance benefits. It says that the Bayside Insurance offers two plans. And under Plan A, Giselle would pay the first $50 of her medical bills and then 20% of all the bills after that. And then there's another plan in which Giselle would have to pay more up front, $250 of her bills, but, but then only 10% of the rest. 
And then the question is, for what amount of medical bills will Plan B save Giselle money? So again, let's read very carefully. Notice that what we're looking for and that's variable in this is the amount of medical bills the, for which Plan B will save Giselle money. So let's, let's again, let's start off and let's say, let's let X equal the amount of Giselle's um, medical bills. All right, and then we have we have two plans. We have Plan A, that's going to cost so much, and we have Plan B. All right, and the Plan A says that, that she's going to have to pay fifty dollars. We're assuming uh, down here that the bills are going to exceed two hundred and fifty dollars. So, so she's going to pay the first fifty dollars of her medical bills, and then twenty percent of the bills after that. Okay, so plan A is going to cost her, if there's over 250, it's certainly going to cost her $50. Plus, and we have to read very carefully here, 20% of the bills after that. So it's going to be 20% of not the total amount of Giselle's bill. In fact, let's make that clear up here. This is the total amount. X is the total amount of bills. But say she had uh, $500 in bills then she'd pay $50 and then she'd only pay pay 20% of the 450 she had left, right? She wouldn't pay 20% uh cuz she's already paid the full amount of the first $50. So so let's let's say that uh, uh if there was say $500 in total in bills, she'd only be paying 20% of of 450, which is the 50 less than the than the total amount. So so let's so I know that x minus 50 is going to be uh, the amount of bills left to pay after Giselle pays the first 50. Okay. All right, now that's a little tricky, but it's I think it, it's understandable. But uh, notice that the way I thought through that was that I I just picked a you know s some amount of medical bills and just thought through the problem arithmetically, and then that helps me to understand what to do algebraically. So so Plan A is going to cost her fifty dollars plus twenty percent of all the bills after that. So the bills after that is going to be x minus fifty because she's already paid the first fifty there. Now it says that plan B, she's going to pay the first $250, and then she's going to pay 10% of the amount after that. Well, well, X minus 250, right? She's already paid 250, then she has X minus 250 left to pay, okay? So that's the amount Giselle um, has left in bills after paying the first $250. Okay, and again, notice that what I'm doing, I'm writing these things down because writing helps me to think through um, what's what's over here. And, and students typically try to do too much just writing the equation here without doing this information over here which is which is the real thinking part so so plan B is going to cost her the two hundred and fifty dollars plus ten percent of the amount that's left to pay after she's already paid that okay so that's the real bulk of this problem right here is is all this and then then <clears throat> let's go here it says for what amount of medical bills will plan B save Giselle money so what we want is we want plan B if it's going to save her money that's got to be less than plan A. So I want to know where is the $250 plus the 10% of X minus 250, where is that going to be smaller than the, the cost of plan A, which is the $50 plus 20% of X minus 50. Okay? So <clears throat> The wonderful thing about algebra is once I get to right here, now I can just sort of crank the handle and here comes the answer. I can forget about Giselle's medical plans and all this. It's just dealing with the, the algebraic inequality I have here. So I've got 250 plus 0.10x and then so up here I have to distribute the, 
the 10 percent. Likewise on this side I'll have to distribute the 20 percent. 10 percent of 250 is 25. Here I'll get 20 percent of x and I think 20 percent of uh, 50, 10 percent would be 5, so 20 percent would be 10. Okay, minus 10. So let's uh, keep going here. So let's combine my like terms. I got 225 plus 0 0.10x is less than 0 0.20x plus 40. And let's get all my x's on one side. I'm going to take this one, this 0.10x, I'm going to bring it over on this side. But I'm going to subtract, do that by subtracting 0.10x. I'm going to take the 40 over on this side. Um, that's going to give me 0.10x if I subtract 0.10x from both sides. If I subtract 40 from both sides, that's going to give me <clears throat> 185, I think. Okay, so then I can just uh, divide both sides by 0 0.10. Or another way of thinking of that is I could have multiplied both sides by 10, right? And that would move my decimal over one, give me 1x. That's actually easier to multiply by 10. I just get 1850. So I get that my x value, let me keep it on the same side like I have it here. Um, I get x over on this side all by himself is greater than 1850. So let's turn that around in English. I got my x greater than 1850. And again, my question, uh, coming back up here to my problem, for what amount of medical bills will Plan B save Giselle money? Uh, so if her bills are more than $1,850, Plan B will cost Giselle less. Okay?